<clears throat> Today in this class, we discussed about the VBA microprogramming and in the VBA microprogramming chapter is the code concept and uh, we have discussed today the uh, code of the seeds. <clears throat> because we, uh, study class, uh, we discussed about the range, uh, sorry, uh, workbook. So I, today we discussed about the seeds. Seeds. Within the VBA programming, uh, we, we have the uh, two name of the seeds. First is the caption, second is the property. Hmm. You will see here uh, the sheet one in the bracket sheet one. In the bracket sheet one, it means caption name and sheet one without bracket is the property name. Caption is, it means uh, usually you can see and change the, your caption name. Just like I have changed the jam. So you can see here uh, in the review programming in the bracket change the jam, but sheet one is the fix. C1 is the property name changed by the programmer and in the bracket have the jan have the caption name changed by the user. Right sir? Jan 5 you can change there. So we have the in the VV programming with two sheet name and also C1 the property name is also changed but changed by the programmer. How can change? Select the file, and this is the property sheet one. And here, here is the name you can change here, but but change by the programmer. But in the bracket, have the caption name changed by the user. So, how can uh, go any seed? Uh, how can activate any seed? Uh, how can call any seed? So, if you have caption name, you can enter here sheets. Jan, yeah, fab, name here. And dot yes, sheet is the yes, sheet is the object, right? No, no, the active sheet is the difference. I call it a sheet with different uh, name. If you have the caption name, you can use this code. The seats okay. your caption name in the right in the bracket. Dot select yeah anything select copy and anything of the event, right? But you have the property name, it's like mons that is a sheet two. If you, if you have do you want to sheet go to the sheet two, right here, sheets in, in the inverted comma sheet two dot select. So this is the caption name. You can go the go any sheet for with caption name. But you have the property name, you can write here directly month dot dot select sheet two dot select if you have the property name if you know the property name then you can write the this code but <coughs> second thing if you know the sequence number it's like two dot select what is two two it means first and second the position if you uh, if you see three uh, in the uh, second position then C2 and C3 will be activated. So first one and two. So we have right here the number and your uh, seat in the count one, two. This uh, which position have uh, you have entered uh, this, this position will be activated. Seat name is not matter, property name does not matter. The position will be matter. So we have and uh, next the last is the active sheet. If your seed will be activated, then use the active seed. So the four way of the calling your seeds. First, your caption name. Second, your property name. Third, is the seed sequence number, the seed index number is also called. And fourth is the active seed. So uh, for understanding key, uh, when you use the uh, code, which code you use the when? Yeah, which situation we have used the this code so understand your file your sheet will be deleted every time and created with one name just like reports just like data just like summary this number the fix but maybe see delete if you uh, if you uh, if you have one that see data uh, add the data so in, uh, every month you can uh, insert the data on you have uh, every time Will be created the new sheet, delete the old sheet, create the new sheet, and name the data. Data name is a fix, but 
but your sheet will be deleted every time. That time we use the caption name method because I, I have the caption name and a fixed caption name. Second thing, my name is the, my caption name will be changed. It's like we could, uh, in this month have a June because this month running the June, so we have the uh, June report. Next time we will change the July report, but seat will be same. Seat not related. Our report format will be say report format seat will be same every time. But every month we have rename the our sheet the different name. That time we use the property name because if you delete the, your seat, then the property name will be changed. Just like we have delete the seat three. And sort the new sheet, sheet four. And we have changed the year, sheet three or sheet four. This is not doesn't matter. But in the VVA, we have the sheet with sheet four before the property name. So you have you have the uh, fixed sheet. Sheet will be not deleted, but rename by reference name. That time we use the calling method in the with properties. But I don't know what is the property name, what is the uh, caption name, I don't know. And seed will be activated and not activated, I'm also not know. That time view the sequence. Just like if we have one file, in the one file have the 10 seeds. And you want to uh, copy the, uh, every sheet data in the one sheet. But uh, uh, what name is the 10, uh, all 10 seeds, you don't know. But property name uh, is the, our all over 10 seed we have, we have done know that time we use the sequence number to 1 to 10 1 by 1 copy data and paste that uh, this code will be help me so we, when the dynamic hour file a dynamic hour sheet that time we use the sheet index method and active sheet you don't uh, also know if you sheet will activate then use the active sheet so seed calling method is a clear, Mr. Bira. Hello. Hello, yeah. Mr. Without? Yeah, yeah. yeah, clear, clear. Okay. So we have uh, do the sum work with uh, do the sum uh, working code with the seeds. So, so first we have we want to add the new seeds. So right here, sheets dot add. <coughs> sheets dot add. We have add the new sheets. <coughs> but which location? Before the active sheet. But I want to insert the sheet before the sheet two. Before the sheet five. Yeah. Before uh, uh, after the last sheet. So when we space the uh, uh, give the space here. You can got a your syntax. This is before and after. But you want to before write the sheet name is sheets sheet two. Now your sheet add before the sheet two. But I want to add the last sheet. So you can also write your number. So this is the three four three sheet or four sheet after three. So count here. One, two, three, and add the before of the three. But I want to after, after sheet, uh, sheet three. So we space this is the before and this is the after. I want to uh, sheet three give you give on the after. So use the on, only single comma. If you sometimes problem with comma, because uh, last classes we even see here we, we have uh, the uh, write, uh, give the password so we write the five or six comma one method one method uh, more we have write the year after and colon equal this is the also method you have the uh, name name the which uh, name the your sign text with colon and, and equal sign so comma not media but uh, but I want to see the la last sheet, so write here the three. But every time, not the three, maybe uh, five sheet, ten sheet, twenty sheet. That time, he, this code not uh, add or so last sheet. 
because every time it will increase. Now have, we have the three sheets, but after two days we have the five sheets. This uh, this file we have the five sheets. That time this macro will be not run the dynamically. So I want to see Argi right here the code sheets dot count sheet dot count before the running the code every time count the sheet. Okay, now currently how many sheets in the file? And after that, we insert the new sheets. So you can use the align the sheet here. Sheet and before and after. But I want to sheet, I want to rename the sheets. So you can write also write here active active sheet dot name and write the name with a data. Give you any name. Because <clears throat> when they all create the new sheets, sheet will be activated also. So write the name active sheet dot name. But I want to sheet with name. Just like uh, last classes we discussed, last to last class we discussed, I want to add the file with save as. So I want to sheet with name. Then we have write the code sheets dot uh, add that name equal to <clears throat> but this code insert the code insert the sheet one sheet the one time but i require have have the 30 sheets so we have to write the code uh, this code for uh, 30 30 times and also include in the loop but we have the one more thing here in the sheets add sheet add we have the count here so write the count Starting. This code add the 30 sheets at a time. So this is the sheet add method. Mr. Bida, it is clear how can add the sheet? Mm, yeah, clear. Uh, but in this active sheet start means uh, okay. Sheets dot add name equal to add name means whenever it got added, the name is got data right. Right, right. Okay. This 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 code is if you add the single sheet, you also single sheet will be activated. When you add the sheet, you uh, added sheet will be activated. So write the code here active sheet dot data. But I want to see with name so this write this code. Right, sir. And I want to see it more than one. So write this code. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah. Mm. This is more than one, right? Uh, more than one. Uh, you can write here the count. I have to give the 30. So 30 sheet will be added. Above that? Hello? Yeah, above that, above that. You tell me. You have, yeah. If you have the right here, write the numbers. Which number you write? And then when you, uh, then the sheet will be added. If you write the 30, you write 25. 60, then 60 sheet will be added in the file. Mm -hmm. And last sheet will be activated. If you write the 30 sheets, so 30 sheets will be activated. 1 to 29 will be not activated. What is this? Sheets dot add dot name data equal to? Means only one sheet, right? I only have one sheet with name. With name. That is above that active sheet, right? Yeah, active sheet. Huh. If you have insert the one sheet, then added sheet will be activated. Okay. But you have added the more than one sheet, so last sheet will be added. Uh, activated. Okay. okay. Is clear? Clear, clear. Okay. Now I want to more thing uh, uh, in the sheets. So I have the add the sheet. So I want to delete the sheet. I want to one sheet will be deleted. So right here, and you can choose the this method uh, as per your situation, right, sir? Yeah. So we have write the directory property name in month dot delete. But uh, <coughs> when run this code, you can get the one display alert like that. 
and your macro macro will be free uh, pause when you delete the sheet then run the run the code so i want to bypass this alert i when the run, run the code up for the deleted this all uh, by default click on the delete right sir okay so before this code i have changed the application setting application dot display alert equal to false true hmm. false but by default true hmm. when the true then you can get the alert na no? if you delete the by default true then you can get the alert so we have change okay. the setting change the setting application display alert equal to false and false delete okay. so directly yeah. delete your sheet give you not give the any alert message but is yes. this application change only for this macros not all you can manually delete or you can also give the alert yeah another macro we you can use the delete then also want to Uh, give the alert alert message so we have right the change of the application setting for this subject uh, this macro or this subject because also for so when you write the delete uh, see delete code then mm -hmm. you can uh, before the this this code use the display alert equal to false okay so this uh, your sheet will be deleted and we have use the month you can also use the Uh, it will be in four method. If you will see it will be activated, then use the active sheet. If you know the count, use the counts. If you know the see uh, my property name, if you know the caption name. So as per your situation, as per your requirement, you use the four year. Hmm. I'm calling you that year. So sheet will be deleted. Now we have. Uh, we want to. Yes. Uh, uh, Hide, ha. Huh? We want to hide the sheet. So write the code month dot visual. So you can write that. Uh, you can uh, hidden that two type two type hidden in the VBA. First, Excel Excel sheet hidden. Excel sheet hidden. This code your sheet will be hidden the normally. Okay. And your your user can also if your file not protected. Your user also unhide simply, but you want to uh, uh, your user can't unhide your sheet. Then we use the next code month dot visual equal to Excel very hidden. Excel very hidden. User uh, user can't user can't unhide. If you if you want to see unhide the sheet, use the Code with VVA month dot visual equal to visual. See it visual. Otherwise, go to the properties and visual. Here change change your setting. Visual very hidden, hidden very hidden. You can change here. After that, your sheet will be visual. So if you use the uh, second code, you see Excel sheet visual dot Excel sheet very hidden. Then Your uh, your user can't unhide sheet without using the VBA, and with the VBA we have uh, we we have unhide with code this code, and also one more thing one more thing so select the sheet and go the property and go the visual tag you can write uh, select the other image, but if you want to your your uh, user can't Edit the your code. I can't see your code. I can't modify anything. But the VBA is not accessible for the your user. That time you will be protect your VBA code. Go to the tools menu bar. Click on the VBA project properties and write uh, uh, select the protections and click on the lock. Project for viewing and type the code here. Write the password here. So 
so without password you and also your user can't see your can't see edit anything with the video program in this file another file will be uh, done but in this file you can uh, you can not change without the password okay sir okay so see. we have visible see so i want see. to i have a doubt oh tell me first one is excel excel sheet hidden means uh, hidden means the normal hidden user can also unhide from the right click on the sheet name mm -hmm. right sir excel very okay. hidden uh, user cannot be uh, unhide from the right click on the sheet name okay if you want to unhide unhide the seat for uh, if you if you see the seat hidden by the very hidden you want to unhide the seat so we have the two way first way is the write the code in the one micro and run the micro okay second thing you can select the your hidden seat and go to go to the property and select here the select the uh, visible excel seat visible so we have the two way but do you want to your user can't access your code because you want to your seed will be your seed is not unhide by user that mm -hmm. time you can give the uh, vva project password from the tool mm -hmm. from the vva project properties and here is the protection click the lock and apply the password this is a vva password so when your user try to open the VVE, then ask the password. Okay. The you didn't see code also, right? Yeah, right. Any doubts? Yeah, no doubt. Oh, go over. So we have the if you want to uh, protect our sheet, just like write the month dot protect, right? We have the password, and you can see here if we have the uh, more or more of uh, event details, just like drawing object contain. So when you uh, when you uh, protect your sheet, right click and protect sheet. You can see here. This is the many options. So this is the allow all users for working uh, worksheet group. After the protections, if you click the format cell, after the protection, user can the, the can't change your data, but you for format your data because we have allowed the formatting in the protection. Right, sir. Right, right. So if you if you want to uh, this feature facility in the VBA programming, so we have the here. Code. If I want to allow anything, it's like I, I want to uh, allow formatting cells. So here is the formatting cells. Formatting, allow formatting. Cells. So go, go comma, 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 and write the true. Excellent. Yeah, otherwise, we have write here password. Like give the password. If you password in the numeric, you can also write the right click, but your password will be a uh, Text and text, then you can write the inverted comma in the inverted comma, and that is the allow formatting equal to true. Okay, so uh, I give you here, give this column. We have a two day. And I want to unprotect the code receipts. So month dot unprotect and write here is the password. You still will be unprotected. You want to move the sheet and copy the sheet. So write the here code. Uh, month. If you want to move, write the code move. You want to code the move. Uh, copy. So write the, here the copy. But if you directly can write the sheet move and sheet copy, and you can uh, not enter any details of the actions, that time your sheet will be moved and copy in the new sheet. Just like that. You want to see move the copy, 
and uh, 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 right click and move and copy. And if you uh, uh, select the copy, then click on the create the copy. If you move, then no, done, uh, not create the uh, click on the uh, create copy and select your new sheets. And your sheet will be moved and copied the new sheets. The book three, the new sheets. Right, sir. Mm -hmm. But do you want to move in in this file between also in this file also? So right here the way you want to move and copy. I want to copy the last sheets. So right here sheets and sheets dot count. This method. So your seed will be moved before the last seed. You want to after the last seed also paste one comma, and same thing the copy. So if you give you the not not give any details of the your actions, your seed move and copy the new seeds, new file sorry, new workbook in the new workbook. But give you the any details of the your file uh, seeds. Say we which before we seed before and we seed after. Your, we will seed to be copied and moved. Then in the same file we move. Right, sir. So right. This, is, this is the code concept. You can practice the code. I have uploaded the uh, video in, uh, within the one hour. You can watch the video and practice the scene. And uh, on Monday we have uh, discussed the one uh, discussed the, these features, all features in the one project. Okay. Okay. So 